Assalamualaikum, hi, we are from group 3, we'll present our e-commerce business pitching. Our group consists of 5 members including me, I am Nur Shakina binti Muhammad Swahili, matrix number 272437. We name our company as The Lab where we are a manufacturing company that offers various types of beautiful and quality women's accessories. We do business to business that can give bulk quantity with reasonable prices for wholesalers to sell to their end customers. The type of women's accessories that we offer are scrunchies. Uh, scrunchies is a design hairband, earrings, bracelets, brooch, hair clips, hair hoops, and necklace. Hello, my name is Nurwaida Balkis Penti Soezain and uh, my metric number is 271745. I will present about industry description and outlook. The demand in fashion accessories have changed and evolved over the centuries. Therefore, the lab supplies lots of trendy accessories such as scrunchies, earrings, bracelet, brooches, hair clips, hair hoops, and necklaces to local customers in the form of import. Compared with other industries, fashion industries, especially women's accessories, are more focused on innovation. With that, the, indus uh, the industry has uh, faced a lot of competitors in the same market. The trendy also always change day by day. The outlook for women accessories is can, uh, contemporary consumption behavior. In this context, youth nowadays, 15 to 20 years, are uh, the one who decide the lifetime of fashion trends. Therefore, most companies set investing in R&D and expanding productivity as their long-term strategy target to be implemented. Now, I will continue the presentation with market needs. The first one is location selection. We choose to open our company at the center of city because it can attract the attention of customers, especially women. The second one is product diversity. Our company offers a variety of women's accessories such as scrunchies, earrings, bracelets, necklaces, brooches, hair hoops and hair clips. The third one is product quality. Every woman want a high quality and durable jewelry which can use in long term. Unique selling proposition is a vital element in a business plan whereas it is the main reason consumer pick our product compared to other company. Firstly, the lab strive to be different among other companies in this market. Subsequently, the lab conducted deep research to select the best design for our logo. We had taken into account any small detail to construct the best and eye-catching logo in terms of color and shape so that whenever people see the logo, consumer will be able to identify our brand. We want to create a strong branding image in consumer's mind that automatically will attract them to buy our accessory. Secondly, the lab ensure to bring major value to customers whereas we showcase a customer-focused feature. Hence, we came up with the idea of girl power value in our product. Whenever consumer use our product, they will feel the girl power element in terms of femininity but bold at the same time. We aim to deliver value that will make them feel confident in their own skin. For our business competitive that we are choosing is Shin, shopping shop from China. Then we had analyzed four SWOT analysis in our competitors, which is strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. For the strength of the company is they had offered a variable product such as women's shirt, accessories, handbag, and more. The price that they are offered was affordable, and they can do the worldwide shipping as from now on. Shin also had shipped more than 220 countries and regions across the world. For the weakness is if high-end consumers are looking for a quality, Shein is not the best choice from them. The shipping process is so slow and the international customers need to wait for about two weeks or more for the product to arrive at their home. For opportunities, they use social media to advertise their products such as Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, and so on. According to the Lee 2022, Shin had more than 15 million followers on the social media and it will be the easiest for them to attract international customers and with the advantage of the Chinese supply chain and will be very competitive in terms of the price. And for Shin 3 is data breach. 
Data breach is the process when a customer's personal information is stolen from a device without awareness of the system's owner. This situation might cause discomfort because stolen data will expose their customers to dangers. The data includes sensitive information such as credit card number, customer address, and so on. They also cannot predict the customer's preference because fashion trend keep changing and so do customer preference. According to Mustafa Sulaiman HM 2018 says that one style that was fashionable a month ago may be outdated now. Even though the company did its best in keeping it up, but this situation will still stressful and threatening in Shein. For target marketing, our company used concentrated market strategy where our company supplies women's accessory products that are used by women of all ages. The lab offers seven types of products that just mentioned previously and with, with five different designs for each type with the latest fashion and suitable according to the age group. Meanwhile, for market segmentation, our company demographic targets children age 10 to adults age 18 and above as the accessories have various design. Our company also sells a wide selection with reasonable and affordable prices for all economic levels to both lower or higher prices higher salary. Men also included because they can make this accessory as a gift to their loved ones. Our company geographic targets all states in Malaysia urban areas where these areas uh, po have potential to be exposed latest culture and trends through social media. Next, our company psychographics targets middle and lower classes for social class because of cheap prices that our company offers. Style and lifestyle targets to those who care about latest fashion and love beauty. Lastly, the targeted personality is person who have creative characteristics. Our company behavioral emphasize the situation of youth and loyalty where the culture of women in Malaysia will dress up and adorn themselves in or out the house. According to Nathan Ellery 2022, pricing strategy refers to the methods and procedures used by companies in determining, uh, determining the rates and prices they charge for their goods and services. The lab prefers to use a competitive pricing strategy. This is because it is more suitable for businesses. Therefore, we choose to take the stock from uh, the Shopee application uh, to may help to reduce the capital. The smaller the cost, the more profit can be gained by the company. There are many competitors in women's accessories and the lab applied a competitive pricing strategy by selling the items at lower price and the quality is value and affordable for the money. By using the strategy, the labs put the selling price for the product lower than another company. Next, regarding product positioning, positioning, the lab agrees to apply the quality-based brand positioning strategy. By choosing this strategy, lots of benefits can be gained by the lab, which uh, enables the company to generate a large number of cu customers who choose not to spend more money on accessories. Next, I will present about promotion strategy. First, our company use promotional strategy which is the customers will be give a coupon. The customers will buy 5 boxes of women's jewelry and spend more than 50 ringgit can get a coupon. Second, we also use an advertising promotion strategy. Our company use advertising services through television, radio and billboards. Third, our company use a public relations promotion strategy. Customers need to fill the Google form provided and give their feedback about satisfaction in shopping and the quality of the accessories. Online marketing strategy. The lab use several online platforms to promote product because we know the fact that social media greatly influence the purchasing power of customer. Firstly, the lab create a Facebook business page to keep customer informed, develop brand identity and increase interaction with customer. We also implement Facebook ads based on demographic targets such as gender and age. Other than that, we will be hosting Facebook contests to increase product awareness. Secondly, the lab also create Instagram page that look aesthetic in order to catch people's interest to click and buy our product. We will also use Instagram ads 
post story and reels to boost our sale and product image. Thirdly, the lab also used Shopee, a quickly emerged business platform to generate revenue in the long run across Southeast Asia. Our team will provide real and relevant information and will spend extra money to use Shopee in app advertising to promote our brand broadly. Flash sale will be conducted as encourage consumer to buy within a certain period of time at a cheaper price than usual and voucher for new or loyal customer will be provided. Lastly, TikTok. Our team will be alert with anything viral from time to time to make sure that we will be on FYP. TikTok ads also will be used to increase profit. The use of hashtag also will make it easier for customer to see and support our business via TikTok affiliate feature. Break even analysis is to calculate the production quantity or sales quantity and values, whether there is a situation of profit or loss. We calculate seven types of cost, which is initial cost, raw material cost, other cost, total cost of materials, total sales per unit, estimate result, estimate return of capitals. Break even analysis of our product can be seen by doing this so that we know about our business current financial situation, whether we gain a profit or loss. Then we can set our revenue target because break even analysis can be a great tool for setting concrete sales target for our teams. If we have a clear number and time frame in place, it will be easiest for us to decide our revenue target for the futures. Then, by doing the estimate return of capital, we will know how many days we need to sell our product to cover back our capitals and gain more profit by using the break-even analysis. Next, we go to sales forecast. From this table, we can see that the highest sales forecast is in April, which is 10,000 ringgit. This is because school and Hari Raya, ideal free holidays, we target customers will buy their accessories at the lab. The second highest sales forecast is in May, June, August and September, which is reduced to 8,000 ringgit. This reduction sales happen because not have many school holidays and it only just has one day of public holiday. The third highest sales forecast in January, November and December, which is 6,000 ringgit. Our company predict customers will come at the lab during public holiday only. The lowest sales forecast is 2,000 ringgit in February, March, July and October. This is because customers not have much time to shop. They are busy with works and there is no public holiday. Potential problem and challenges. The lab always identify potential problems that will occur to prevent the problem getting worse. First of all, the lab face a challenge to cope with market competition in order to stay relevant and convenient. If the company fails to keep pace with other competitors, we will be left far behind. The lab also strive to deliver a high quality product while maintaining an affordable price to customer. The lab always keep track with the trend in this market to make sure that we can provide customer what they want from time to time. Next, the lab face challenge to preserve a good reputation to consumer. Today, customers review and impression of business are frequently spread in social media. As the speed of information increase, it is quite hard for company to stay alert all the time, especially if it involves a business public reputation. There are many things to be taken into consideration to maintain good relationship with customer, such as good customer service, preserve high quality product, and always update our product based on consumers' taste from time to time.